Ladies, I am so excited to show you one particular piece in this Walmart video that I don't want to wait another second. My name is Teresa. I'm so glad that you're here. Now let's get started. When I set out to find a dupe for these particular wedges, my hope was that I would find a pair that was comparable in quality and a lot less expensive. Much to my surprise, I found a pair that I like even better. How gorgeous are these wedges? These are by the brand Time & True. They're calling these the One Strap Demi Wedge Sandal. The ones that I have are a size eight. The color is blush. I think that it is gorgeous. They are $19.98. So almost five times less expensive than the wedges that I have been wearing. They also come in cognac. They are rated 4.3 stars on the Walmart website. Frankly, I am surprised that these are not rated five star. The heel is one of the many reasons that I prefer this pair. It is just over a two and a half inch heel. And I wanna show them to you side by side because as you can see, the pair that I've been wearing is substantially higher. And I'm finding that I'm having more and more difficulty walking in these. I also find that having the strap on these really keeps these more securely on my feet than this pair. These have a slip-on styling with an adjustable buckle, and I find at least that I can actually shimmy my foot into these without even fussing with the buckle once I get it set where I want it. These do have a memory foam comfort footbed, a non-skid sole, and they're calling these a demi wedge. I didn't know what a demi wedge was. I had never heard of a demi wedge before, but when I see them side by side, I totally get it. These are less clunky, they are lighter, and they are much easier to walk in. And for a lot of you ladies, this is going to be a skin tone. Now, as you know, if you wear flesh tone colored shoes, they kind of elongate the leg, right? Now, if you need a darker shoe to match your skin tone, this same shoe comes in cognac. I did pick this up in store at my local Walmart, but I can tell you that right now at the time that I'm filming this video, they have every size available online. I am going to link the shoe in the description box below along with all of the other pieces that I'll be talking about today. Another thing that I love, love, love about this shoe is this subtle bling. Because it's kind of silver tone or clear, it blends in but adds a little bit of sparkle. And you can really see when you're watching the try-ons and I'm standing out in the sun, it just kind of twinkles in the sunlight. I think it is so pretty. This shoe is what I wish this shoe had been all along. Only the good news is, now you can get a better shoe at Walmart for under $20. Off to the side, I'm showing you the same outfit with both the old shoes that I had been using and my new, and I can already tell, favorite shoes from Walmart. I think the Walmart shoes look better. In fact, I would love to know what you think. Do you think that I found better than a dupe? For a pair of wedges let me know in the comments down below you are going to see these wedges in all of my walmart videos because i love them while we're on the topic of comfortable and affordable shoes from walmart i would be remiss if i didn't mention these gladiators i am a little bit late to the game these have been in store for a while they come in clear which is what i have in my hand black and i also want to say white I wasn't sure how I would feel about a gladiator sandal, and I'll tell you why I like these specifically. These are by the brand Time & True. They're calling these the Women's Studded Gladiator. These are a size eight. They are $12.98, and they are rated 4.3 on the Walmart website. Full disclosure, I have always avoided gladiator style sandals because the strap does come up high on the ankle and I feel like it cuts the leg at an odd angle and makes me look shorter. But because the strap is clear on these, I think that it becomes invisible on the feet. I felt like Cinderella wearing these, just like the glass slipper. I love the subtle sparkle. They have these pretty silver tone studs that are very well attached. It looks like they have grommets in them. I was pleasantly surprised by how comfortable these are, especially for a flat shoe. They do have memory foam padding, just enough. 
They have a little bit of a heel so you're not dead flat to the ground. They also have a non-skid surface, which I always look for. Now, obviously these are a flat shoe, so they're not going to have arch support, but if you don't have problem feet, these are such an inexpensive and stylish option. I just love these so much. In my last Walmart video, and if you haven't watched it, I will link it in the cards above, I showed you ladies this packable hat and so many of you said you loved it. I have a second one to show you that you might love even more because it is a fedora style. It's also very neutral. It's kind of this khaki color. And I have a story about this hat. This one is also packable. This hat is under $10. They have it in store and online. And I believe it comes in a couple of colors. I think there was a white version and also a black one. This hat is so lightweight and breathable. You can see that it's perforated. It's not an overwhelming huge hat like a floppy hat like I sometimes show. This is definitely a more moderate size. So if you're not entirely comfortable wearing a big giant floppy hat, this style might be a good option for you. I love the fact that it is a neutral color and this hat also folds up into nothing. Right after I bought this hat from Walmart, my husband and I happened to be going to an artist studio tour where you drive around and see different artist studios. It's a big thing in our area. And I decided to wear this hat because my hair was acting crazy. It was frizzy, it was all over the place. I wasn't trying to make a style statement, I just wanted to control my hair. I was so surprised when not one but two of the artists that we visited looked up at me, stopped what they were doing with their art demonstration and said, oh, I love your hat. And I said, Walmart. And they said, really? And I said, yes, really. And then they wanted to talk about Walmart and the hat more than the art. So we had to redirect the conversation. Not only is this hat packable, it's also apparently crush proof. And here's how I knew this. I left this hat sitting on the seat of my car. The next day, I forgot it was there. I was rushing around, hopped into my car and sat squarely on this hat. It was smashed flat like a Frisbee. I popped back up and so did the hat. The hat popped back up right in front of me. I couldn't believe it. So even after being squashed thoroughly by my derriere, this hat still holds its original shape. My point is if you want a stylish, affordable, lightweight, collapsible, crush proof hat, Walmart has your back. Just while I'm thinking of it and since we're talking about accessories anyway, my three favorite spring and summer bags from Walmart are still in stock online. I will link these in the description box below. I've described these before. These are my three favorites so far. The top that I'm wearing is by Time and True. They're calling this the Henley Tank Top. This is a size small and I'll tell you why in just a moment. They're calling this color Hawaiian Ocean. I love this color so much. It is only $11.98 and it comes in seven additional colors. The fabric is 60% cotton and I always appreciate a high cotton content because it's more breathable. It's 40% Modell, machine wash cold, tumble dry. They have an extra button, so you see that it has this button detail sewn to the tag inside so that if one of these were to pop off, you would have a matching replacement button. I am always partial to a V-neckline. This is kind of a curved V-neckline. I find that this hits me perfectly under the arm. There's no bra even showing. It has a pretty pin tuck detail. It is loose, flowy, and lightweight. I also like the little bit of shape that you get from the back. As soon as I put this top on, I knew that for me, it was going to be a keeper. So I wanted to try it on with a bunch of different bottoms from my closet. So I showed it with my all-time favorite white skinny jeans from JCPenney. They are by the brand Anna. I have been showing these in every video because I love them that much. Now, if you want a looser fit than a skinny jean, and we all know that the fashion police are saying that skinny jeans are going out, we might have to have this conversation again in the fall because I love skinny jeans with boots, but I digress. If you want a looser fit, more relaxed fit bottom, I absolutely love the twill joggers from Walmart. I have shown them in a khaki color. I have shown them in a white color. And I noticed that they are still available on the Walmart website in broken sizes. If you have not picked up these pants and you can find them in your size, 
I highly, highly recommend them. I have worn mine already countless times. They washed beautifully. They are opaque. They are just the right weight where they're not see-through, but they're not heavy. I can't say enough about them. I also wanted to share this top with my favorite straight leg jeans from Walmart. So these are the Time and True Mid-Rise Straight Leg. I love how I can put a little beachy cuff in these. These look cute with flats, they look cute with wedges. These jeans go with everything. And I have to say that as it's getting hotter and hotter outside, I'm wearing these more and more instead of the skinny jeans that I love so much. If you can find these in your size, I also highly recommend them. The next top that I wanna share with you, in my opinion, is an all around winner. I love this top so much. This is by the brand Time and True. They're calling this the Women's Short Sleeve Twist Front T-shirt. It is $11.98. I have on a size medium. Honestly, I probably could have gone down to a small, but I'm still happy with the way it fits. The color that I have on is light heather gray. It is also available in three additional colors. It comes in black, and it comes in a really pretty pinky mauvey color. It is rated 4.8 stars on the Walmart website, and I totally get that high rating. I think it is really well made. The fabric is 79% recycled polyester, 17% rayon, 4% spandex. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. I can tell you that I have this top in black from last season, and I have washed and dried it multiple times. This top has a round scoop neckline and really nice coverage for the upper arms, but my favorite part about it is the twist front. I rarely like tops that have this detail, but for whatever reason on me, it hits at just the right place without adding a bunch of unnecessary volume right at the belly area, which is the last area that I want that volume. This feels like a t-shirt, but looks like a dress top. This top has such a nice drape to it. It has a little bit of a scalloped edge at the front, right where the knot is. I think that it gives it a nice shape. It is so comfortable, but I could completely see wearing this with a pair of black dress pants and pumps to the office. I have a more casual lifestyle these days, so I would wear this with denim, or with white jeans, or white capris, or white shorts. I absolutely, love this top. Now when I bought the black version of this that I have in my closet and wear all of the time, I did buy it in store. I haven't seen this particular one in store in a while, but it is still on the Walmart website. I personally love the aesthetic of a chambray top with either khaki bottoms or whites, and it can be any kind of bottom, whether it's shorts, capris, a little skirt, a skirt, or even jeans. I'm showing you this one because it's cut a little bit different than the two previous ones that I shared with you. This is by the brand Time and True. They're calling this the Woven Tank Top. I'm wearing a size small. It is in the color Medium Indigo Wash. It is $9.98, and it is available in seven additional colors and patterns. Now, you may recognize the silhouette of this one because this is, for all practical purposes, the same top as the gingham one that I showed you in a previous video. I absolutely love the blue and white check gingham of this version as well, so I wanted to try it in this chambray. This is rated 4.2 stars on the Walmart website. The fabric is 100% lyocell. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. This has a very flattering V neckline. The armholes are not too low. If you happen to have a little bit of belly like I do, this top hides a multitude of sins. It almost comes out into an A-line. It is very forgiving, more so than a couple of the previous chambray tops that I showed you before. And that's why I wanted to kind of do a comparison. This is the perfect length where it conceals, it just skims the body. It's nice and airy and flowy and definitely a relaxed fit. From my previous Walmart video, I also showed you this one that had kind of a ruffle detail at the neck. I thought that that was so pretty, but for me, because I have a little bit of a belly, it didn't have enough stretch in the bottom half. I also showed you a cute and blousey Henley. I'm curious to know which of these three sleeveless chambray shirts you like the most, so let me know in the comments down below. The next piece that I wanna talk about is the top that I'm wearing. This is by Time and True. They're calling this the short sleeve V-neck tunic T-shirt. The one that I have on is a size small, and I'll tell you why. 
The color is Blue Cove Stripe. It is only $9.98 and it comes in eight additional colors. This is rated 4.3 stars on the Walmart website. The fabric is 93% Modell, 7% spandex. It is machine wash cold and tumble dry. I always love a v-neckline as I've mentioned many times in this video. This does have kind of a dropped shoulder and it is also very voluminous which is why I size down to a size small. If you like a nice loose breezy relaxed fit you will love this. I found that it looked a little bit overwhelming on me and maybe that's just my perception and in fact let me know in the comments down below. So as I was trying this on I felt compelled to at least try it by tying the front to see if I could define the waist and feel a little bit less overwhelmed in it. The fabric has a beautiful feel to it. I love the navy blue and white stripe. It has a very nautical feel to me. I thought that this looked cute with shorts and with jeans. I'm on the fence about keeping this one because I feel like I would have a tendency to either front tuck it or tie it into a knot and it's very long in the back because it is a tunic length and I think it's supposed to be worn out but I kind of feel like it overwhelms me. Part of it probably has to do with the fact that it's a dropped shoulder. It's pretty wide. You can see how much fabric there is but maybe when I watch the footage back I'll like it more. I would like to know what you think of it though so let me know in the comments down below. The next piece I want to talk about are the shorts that I'm wearing. These are by the brand Time and True. They're calling these the Millennium Bermuda Short. I have on a size medium. We'll discuss that in just a second. I'm going to show you these in three different colors. Sea Turtle, which is a green, Ant, which is a khaki, and Optic White. These are $12.86. They have a very high rating on the Walmart website. They are rated 4.8 stars and I totally get why. When I first showed these shorts in white, I wasn't sold on them at all. I thought that Bermuda shorts made me look dumpy, and so many of you ladies said that you liked them on me. I went back and watched the footage, and lo and behold, I liked them on me, and I was very surprised. They are so comfortable. The fabric is 74% rayon, 27% nylon, 4% spandex, machine wash, and line dry. I have to say, I have already put the white ones that I have in the washer and the dryer, and they came out just fine. I am not recommending doing what I did, but I'm just saying the whole line dry thing, I don't know if that's necessary. They are a mid-rise pull-on. They have a nice wide elastic at the waist. It doesn't roll down. It doesn't cut into you. I find them to be slimming, actually. These shorts do have little side slit pockets that are so well done that they just kind of disappear into the short. I don't think you would be able to put, say, an iPhone in it, but if you wanted to carry around a credit card or some cash or your keys, you could easily do that. Honestly, what I use the pockets for is to do a little bit of a modified front tuck. Sometimes I'll take just the corner of a top and tuck it into the coin pocket or a little front pocket like that. On days when I'm feeling especially, let's just call it fluffy, I will actually take both sides of the top, do a little modified front tuck into the front pockets of a pair of shorts like this, and then let it kind of drape over the belly area just to kind of conceal that area. I also think it just gives the top a really interesting shape instead of just hanging flat. But if you're not into tucking in tops, you're also going to get a very smooth front with these because they don't have zippers and buttons and snaps, whatever top you wear over them is going to lay smoothly. When I first spotted these particular shorts in white at my local Walmart, I went right to Instagram and said, ladies, you need to pick these up while they're still there. And it was a matter of days until my local Walmart was completely wiped out in the white. Then for a while, they were sold out online. I noticed just recently that they seem to have restocked because I'm seeing some sizes in white. They come in several colors. I also see the green that I'm sharing with you off to the side as well as the khaki. I do want to point out that the white pair that I originally bought in these shorts are a size large. I have since then lost right around 10 pounds by doing a low carb modified diet. And now I have them in a size medium and I find that I am squarely between the two sizes. 
The size medium is a little too tight for me, but I'm continuing my low carb journey, so hopefully they will fit properly eventually. But the waistband on the white ones are now completely too big for me. So I know that after another five or 10 pounds, the size medium will fit me perfectly. And I am keeping these with the hope that I take off that additional five or 10 pounds because I think that I'm going to get a lot of use out of the khaki and the green. They are such neutral colors. Overall, I love the fabric of these. They are lightweight on, they are comfortable, they hold you in a little bit, easy on, I just love them so much. Okay, before I show you this next item, I have to admit that maybe I got my confidence up a little bit when I showed a strappy dress from Venus that I loved and many of you ladies loved as well. If you haven't watched my Venus video, I will link it in the cards above. It was a beautiful dress. Now, even though this jumpsuit is from the juniors department, it is by the brand No Boundaries and I usually kind of stay out of that area. I do occasionally find a piece that I love and that is a appropriate for me, so I always look when I go into Walmart. When I saw this jumpsuit, I was drawn to it for so many reasons. Jumpsuits have been on trend for quite a while now, and I own exactly zero jumpsuits. And here's the main reason why. Most of the ones that I look at either have zippers up the back or fussy buttons behind the neck, and I am not Houdini. I just cannot get in and out of a jumpsuit in time to have to go to the bathroom. Now, because this is a junior's piece, I did go up a size, so I picked up a size large. It is only $14.96, and when you think about it, it is a one and done outfit, so I think the price point's spot on. The color they're calling Blue Cove, it comes in three additional colors and patterns. It is rated 4.4 stars on the Walmart website, so I thought that was encouraging. The fabric is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. It is machine wash and tumble dry. I have to say, I love the feel of this fabric. I also love the way this looks from the front. The main reason that I wanted to try this particular jumpsuit is because it looked like it would be really easy to take on and off when you have to go to the bathroom. It just slides down, it doesn't have any type of closure. It does have kind of a useless bow here, it's just for aesthetics. I think that it breaks up the stripe and I actually like the way it looks. Underneath of that is some smocking, so it is very comfortable, and even though it looks very form-fitting, it doesn't feel tight at all. I actually think the style of this is really cute. It does have wide legs, and that is also on trend right now. And for me, at 5'4", it hits just at the perfect length where I could wear this with flats or with wedges. Here's where the train completely went off the tracks for me for this jumpsuit. I happened to catch a glimpse of the back of it in a full-length mirror right before I stepped out onto the deck to film the try-ons that you no doubt are watching off to the side. And my very first thought was, holy back fat. I am afraid to look at the footage at this point. This jumpsuit has a little cutout in the back and I thought it would be cute. It didn't look like it would be too revealing. But the problem is it hits me right at my natural waist where any back fat that I have is on full display. I thought it was a tragedy because I love the way it looks from the front. I love the fabric. It's comfortable, it's easy on and off, but I can't be walking around with that hanging out, right? I'm curious to know what you think of this jumpsuit. I do like it with a jacket, but I cannot justify buying a jumpsuit that I have to wear a jacket over because what if it gets hot? I was even trying to stand up tall and proper to make the back fat a little bit less visible. And let's just face it, it's there and this cutout hits exactly where my back fat lives. So for me, this is a pass. If you have a nice, smooth, flat back, I do recommend this jumpsuit. I just have the wrong figure and unfortunately it doesn't work for me. Speaking of no boundaries, I do want to talk just briefly about this cute little top that I have on. This is a size large because of course I had to size up. I do want to mention right off the bat that this is an in-store only purchase. I could not find this online. I wanted to show it to you anyway in case this is your taste and they have it at your local Walmart. This is only $11.96. It is 95% rayon and 5% polyester. I love the color red. I also love a bandana pattern, and that's what drew me to this. This has a little bit of a collar, 
and buttons and then it ties at the waist. It's a very loose tie and I don't feel like it adds a lot of volume at the belly area so I'm a fan of that. It has kind of these little cap sleeves and then on the back it has a fabric that feels almost like a t-shirt knit and this can be a blessing and a curse. Whenever I try on tops that have this thin t-shirt knit in the back, usually when I watch the footage back, the first thing that I notice is the back fat showing through. However, this top fits me fairly loose and I think it's supposed to be pretty relaxed fit, so I don't feel it clinging anywhere. I just thought this top was so cute I wanted to give it a try. I would love to know what you think of it though, so let me know in the comments down below. Yup, I have these overalls on again. And why do I have these overalls on? Because I got so many hilarious comments from you ladies. About 75% of you seem to think that these overalls were hideous. 25% of you or so thought they were adorable. And many of you gave me some different styling ideas because I really felt like I was on a hee haul episode the entire time that I had these on. Actually, full disclosure, I still feel like I'm on a hee haul episode but I digress. When I showed these originally in my last video, I had them on with the red top, and I really just felt that they looked very costumey. So many of you ladies said, try them with the white t-shirt, try them with the white tank top, try them with a different pair of shoes, and I thought, why not? I still have them here. Let's give styling these overalls another go. As I was reading the comments and got past the no girl, not those, and I read the ones where you said, they're adorable, they're really cute. In my head, I thought maybe they could be. Maybe it's just the way I styled them. So I restyled them taking your suggestions with a white t-shirt, with a white tank top, and with different shoes. I wanted to take the hee haw out of the equation. I am not convinced that I have succeeded, but I would love to know what you think of the restyling of these. Many of you also seem to agree with my sentiment that possibly because these are denim, that's why they were reading so hee-haw. These do come in olive green, I wanna say black, and maybe khaki. If you ladies would like to see these overalls in a color rather than denim, let me know in the comments down below because I will take one for the team and show them to you. Be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't I have a lot of spit on my teeth. Hi ladies, thank Why am I screaming? That was a little loud. They remind me of the glass slippers. I can't think of her name. Snow White now. Cinderella. <laughs> It is still perfectly shaped, and this is after being But my point is, <laughs> what is my point? <laughs> what is the point of this story? <sighs> my point of this story is, if you want a lightweight, affordable, packable, crush-proof hat, won't well, Seriously, Ashes, I literally just let you in. Why do I feel like I'm being stared at? Oh, big surprise, the cat wants back in. Are you coming in? Oh, now you don't want to come in. Okay. Well, are you coming? Are you just going to stare at me? Okay. The fabric is 79% recycled. No, it's not. And the green ones and the khaki ones are a size small. No, they're not. They're not a size small. I haven't been a size small in a while. I searched the world over and I thought I found true love. You met another and he was gone. 
If you liked this video and would like to see more like it, be sure and give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Pop over to Instagram and follow me over there. I would love to have you as a part of that community. I'm going to pop up a couple of my previous videos here, and I will see you next time.